Hey guys, my name's Ebony, and I'm gonna take you along this journey of mine. Um, I decided to blog. Um, I'm getting close to the date that I meet my surgeon. I have carry malformation. Carry malformation is when the tonsils in the back of your head are inflamed. Um, fluid is around your cerebellum. Um, it put, it put, bleh, can't even talk. <laughs> it puts pressure on your spinal cord, your cerebellum. Um, it basically messes with functionings as your joints and blurred vision and blackouts and so much more. But what I want to do is take a step back and let you see how I live and let you understand that no matter what you're going through in life, you can still focus on the things you need to. You can still focus on your children and building your future no matter what you're going through. A lot of people that are sick, they get depressed and they decide that they're not going to do anything with their lives. And they also decide that it's over. Like, oh, I'm not going to battle this. It is what it is. But I am. I'm going to battle. I'm going to fight because I have three children. They are 10, 8, and 1. And I love my children with all of my heart. And I will do anything and everything I can for them so they can see the strong person that I am, but also not have any fear in their heart for things that go wrong in life. So basically, um, I meet my surgeon Tuesday at 3 o'clock. He, he will talk about the different options that I have, what surgery I'm going to get, whether it's a decompression surgery, which they go ahead and cut the back of the skull, and they relieve some pressure. And they put, there's this, I don't want to say cotton, it's not cotton, but they put something to cover the part of the skull to give your brain more release. So it basically helps a brain who that is fractured heal. Um, there's also a thing that they want to do called a shunt. A shunt actually helps the fluids go ahead and circulate better and it helps you to where you're not feeling so bad or you can get through your day without having headaches or pain in the neck or your joints or tingling in your fingertips. Um, I personally have been going through a lot. I've had headaches since I was probably like 11 or 12. Um, all the doctors always told me I had migraines. It took until now that I'm 29 and I went to the hospital. I had a headache, a severe headache for seven days. My mother told me, hey, Eb, just lay down in a dark room, put ice on your head, put a rag on your head, put ice on your neck. And she said, take some Tylenol, it will go away. Maybe even some ibuprofen. Well, seven days, I went to school. I took care of my three children. I went to work and the headaches just wouldn't go away. And it just caused, caused blur vision and uh, you see them little dots when you're looking up at the light. And um, I went ahead and I went to the hospital. I go to the hospital and the doctors in the emergency room did not run any tests except for blood work and pee test. Now, you can't tell somebody that their head is fine when you're only running those two tests. But I didn't say anything. They gave me a bag of fluid and they put a migraine cocktail in my IV. That migraine cocktail is saline and Benadryl. I could have took the Benadryl at home. But hey, I didn't know until I did my own research. Um, <clears throat> the first visit, they sent me home, told me I just had really bad headaches, tension headaches. That's why my neck was so stiff. Well, come to find out two weeks later, same headache, even more severe pain, I get to a different hospital. In that hospital, I told them exactly how I was feeling. The blackout that I had, how I, when I was driving, I blacked out. And it wasn't so much a blackout when I was driving, it was more so my eyes went blank. Like I couldn't see anything. And um, they did a CAT scan on my brain. And that's when the doctor came in and she's like, I'm sorry, honey, but you have Chiari malformation. I didn't know what that was. I wasn't even worried about it. I just said, oh, just another fancy word for headaches. And she told me to seek attention from a surgeon. And they referred me to a couple surgeons. Well, me being me, I am a hard person to sit down and relax and heal myself. I did not get to the surgeon. I decided to wait two months, actually. 
Um, I was cleaning my room. I got real winded and real dizzy, and I end up blacking out. And then I felt like a fire in my bones. Like, it was just so weird. And I called my mother, and I told her, and she was like, Ev, listen, you have to call the surgeon. And she had given me a surgeon's number, and I'm just like, no, I'm not going to do it. Well, I called the doctor, talked to them, talked to the nurses, and they were like, yes, you definitely need to meet with a surgeon. Please bring your CTs. We'll see you October 2nd. So now, as I've been sitting here dreading this moment, um, I'm actually okay with it. I'm okay with getting better. I mean, I don't want to die, and I don't want something bad to happen with me driving with my kids in the car or me driving by myself, and then nobody will know. So I've decided to get the surgery, and my family is not too happy about it. And it is very scary. It's probably the scariest thing I've ever did. And um, I worry about my children and being in the hospital. And if it, not, if it didn't go right. But you know what? I have God. And I know that God will see me through this. Because he has seen me through so much more. And um, I just want to be able to share this experience so I hope that my blogs help the next person the person that's watching them um, I'm terrified but you're always terrified when you don't know things and think about going to a haunted house when you walk into a haunted house you don't know where the people are and where they're going to jump out at but you know that there's something there that's going to scare you so with this, I figure I have an amazing surgeon and he specializes in the KRA malformation itself. And um, I am in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I will be going to Presby Hospital to talk to my surgeon, but I will be getting my surgery in Mercy. And Mercy Hospital in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is one of the best hospitals that we have around here. And I really think that they're gonna do their best job. And I will keep you posted throughout my blogs and um, I'm just going to end with today. I don't want to stay on here too long, but I'm going to let you know my symptoms for today. Um, I've had the same headache for a while now, but it's more so like back in my neck, back in the back of my head. And it goes down my shoulders and like I've been feeling really, really dizzy today. Um, my kids had a football game and I was there most of the day. So I'm thinking the sun had a little bit to do with it. But I'm a little weak, a little winded. Um, I go through this on a daily basis. I wake up with headaches. I wake up with joint pains. I wake up with stiff necks. Um, I hardly sleep at night. I maybe fall asleep for an hour, get up, toss and turn. Um, I have blurred vision in the mornings. Sometimes I can't even eat, trouble swallowing. Um, but I'm okay. I go to school at 7.30 in the morning till 12.30 in the afternoon. I come home. I make my kids dinner. I do homework. I take care of my one-year-old. I go to work at night, and I'm okay. I will not let something like this beat me, and I'm not going to let it beat anybody else, no matter what I go through. So I hope that you watching my blogs can stay interested and actually want to learn and I think in my next blog, I'm actually going to give facts and tell you a little bit more about it. But I just wanted to introduce myself and welcome you to my journey because this is going to be a long journey. And I'm hoping that you stay with me and you work with me and share with everybody. And I will be here one way or another and I will make it out of my surgery and we will talk after that. You will go through this whole journey with me and I'm so excited to be able to share it. So I will talk to you soon. My name is Ebony Lukacs and I have Kiari Malformation.